Welcome back, and we continue our little exploration into random stuff I'm finding in boxes. This time, we have some non-sports cards, ranging quite a number of years. I don't know specifically, but I know it goes into at least the 90s uh, with this little brick here. And it should be fun at least. So let's see what we got. I'm going to start with the brick, then we'll move on to these piles. Because there's actually some interesting things in there. At least in my eyes. So this is an entire brick of old um, Marvel or comic book cards or whatever you want to call them. Which are actually pretty cool back in the day. You like Spider-Man, little acetate card. Um, I'm guessing some of these have some value now. I have no idea. It's so like this is from 94. This is from 95. These are from some year. No idea. Some chrome cards. A lot of X-Men stuff. To my recollection, they're churning out a ton of X-Men stuff in the 90s. And then Spider-Man was in the... Yeah, these are 1995. I mean, there might be complete sets in here, too. I have no idea. 95 Fleer Ultra. Marvel Masterpiece, if I remember correctly. 94. I think there's probably some like old school holograms in here. Yep, old school holograms. So this is 95 Flare. Metal. Just really a whole random collection. Some of these not in the greatest shape. Some of them are actually pretty good. Remember, these are older. 93. Those red ones. And then there's like another X Men thingy. Some Punisher cards up front. 1990 through probably 95 on those. So that was just one little brick I managed to uncover. Um, just of Marvel, comic book, DC, but I don't know. Looks like all Marvel things. But I really found fascinating, and those were interesting, but these are more interesting to me. Is these two stacks of top-loaded cards. So first you have a ticket for the Christmas time in Candyland at John Wanamaker's in Philly. Wanamaker Auditorium, 1950. And so now these, I don't know what year they are. But some Three Stooges stickers. There's blank backs. I don't know when these are from. I'll have to look these up. But interesting little group. I might keep the Three Stooges. You have a Geronimo card. It's an Indian trading card. One of a series of 15 cards. Produced by Fleer. I'm guessing, whoops, as I throw it around. I'm guessing 50s, 60s on that. Um, actually found some Beatles cards. These are the originals. I 
Is there a second series? I don't know if there's a first series. Yeah, kind of interesting. I guess there's a couple different Beatles color cards. I guess there's some there. Second series mostly. That Hard Day's Night card up front. So, interesting little group there. And then there's also this little stack. This is all um, JFK cards, including three of his mask cards. Which is interesting. But then this set was put out, and I have no idea. Yeah. It's a 77 card set on JFK. I don't know when this was put out. And then this was a later, like a president set. So, interesting little group there. Some older sets. And then, even older. Well, I should say there's one exception here. Pull this out. For some reason, I'd, I guess, took this off a package because this canceled. Well, Eisenhower eight cent stamps and a, and a lovely yellow top loader. And then we have some tobacco cards or out oh, there. I think they're mostly tobacco cards. I think there might be some like vending cards. I should give you a better look at some of these. They look to be in, you know, mostly in decent shape. Obviously, some are damaged, but. Really old one. Sweet Corporal. And again, just like some of the other stuff I've come across, this must all these must have been in just one giant lot. Or just I guess non sports cards or something. looks like I don't know a lot about the Hollywood tobacco cards and whatnot that's recent it's a 93 seems to be the only outlier Good old Clark Gable there let's pick this up a little bit Gene Harlow, Mae West, Mary Pickford, all the silent movie actresses. So, again, interesting little bunch of kind of old tobacco cards. I mean, the big groups. Here, are kind of JFK cards, tobacco cards, JFK cards, Beatles cards, and then the big stack of Marvel cards, which is off to the side at the moment. But again, nice little unique rummage, I think. And who knows? And I really don't know what I'm going to find at this point, but. Hopefully something interesting pops up in the near future. And until that, till next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy 
enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thanks, thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.